TV an acoustic parody so with no blingy shirts for once. Oh, they noticed. didn't want to come out and play today. We asked no. them and they were like, mm. It was the Christmas party yesterday <laughs> here at Anderson's. So uh, it's early in the morning. Everyone's feeling fresh. Everybody feeling fresh or fragile. Any word with F you might <laughs> choose to use. Fulfilled. Fulfilled. It was fresh. lovely. Thank you very much for having us, Lee. Yeah. So you might look at these two guitars and go, hey, that, that's the same guitar. You just sit there with two of the same guitars. Yep. And a matter of fact, you're wrong. <laughs> you're dead wrong. <laughs> yeah, you're dead wrong. You man. are dead wrong. Um, so we're starting, uh, we started to stock Atkin guitars recently here at Anderton's. And, um, oh, I just had to double take and see if that was the one I was sitting with. But actually, it is the one I'm sitting <laughs> with. And we said they weren't the same guitars. Yeah. You can't even tell. <laughs> yeah, Atkin guitars... Um, Made by a lovely fella not too far from here. Yeah. Sorry. Canterbury. Uh, Mr. Alistair, Atkin. Uh, Alistair Atkin. <laughs> Alistair Atkin. And if you want to see uh, an interview with him, there's a link in the description where you can go and see Lee interviewing him and talking about the guitars. And so we're not going to go into that. Right in this very description place. Yeah. yeah. Right here. Actually. Yeah. He was sitting where well, I'm he, sitting now. Was he sitting in this chair or that chair? He was sitting in this chair. <sighs> yeah. So I'm the lucky cool. I'm the lucky one. I am the lucky one. Anyway, so, so what we had a few people ask um, on social media comments and stuff, because uh, this is called the essential D, and we do like the D here, anything with D in it here. Sure Anderson's. do. So uh, sure essential do. D, yeah. and that is essentially uh, a Martin. Essential D. It is an essential D. It is, it's, 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 
18. It is basically a D18. A D18. Which this is a D18. Yeah. As you all are familiar with. Martin D18. And what I'm going to do now, I'm going to hold this guitar up and all the specs are going to come down here. So these are the specs, and instead of me rambling off specs, blah, 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 the regurgitating yeah. specs, you can see the specs here. And same with this thing. Here's the specs for the, the 18 go. Martin. So, there you go. A lot of okay. specs, beautiful so got, specs. All right. So these are 18 normally has got the mahogany bag insides and the <laughs> spruce top, uh, mm -hmm. all of that stuff. And what I wanted to do in this <coughs> video is uh, get Ariel to play, because he is such a good player, and I always enjoy listening to you play. Oh, thank you. Oh, I enjoy listening oh, to you. Oh, mm. oh, oh. Uh, and then <laughs> we're going to put a blindfold on him. And then we're going to see if he can tell the difference. Can you tell the difference? <laughs> <laughs> that's the title of this and video. And that's the title of the that's video. Can, can you tell, you tell the difference? The difference? <laughs> Before we get into it, can, I just, can, can I just say, yeah. can you guys see on the, like the aging and the light? Uh, there's a little thing right here. It's yeah. just... So gorgeous well, yeah, attention to detail on, yeah. the, on the cosmetic side of things. Amazing. Masaki. So you yeah. can order the Atkin guitars um, like a new guitar, or you can order it with a slight relic. So this has got like a, I don't know if you can see it on the camera, if I hold it up, you can see there's a cracker in the lacquer. That's a cracker in the lacquer. <laughs> Is this the fun today? Yeah, got a cracker in my lacquer. You got a crack, a... Cracker in the lacquer. Whoa. crack in the lacquer. Cracker in the lacquer. So, cracker lacquer. So, uh, <laughs> so you get, you get, um, it's slightly worn, you might say. Oh, I so, love what, it. so they do it like, let's say the pre-war yeah. uh, Martins, where these are just completely brand new. But these are have been. But like uh, even even little belt belt scratches things. Little you know, things like, and dongs in there, little bit thin in there. If and, that's your thing. If that's your that's thing. That's a whole other discussion. Yeah. We've done this before. Yeah. But like and and, and the, the relic, relic thing is not. But I think will that make a difference? So what we had to do with the Martin because these uh, ship with Alexia strings. Yes. We put a set of, oh God forbid, a set of Alexia strings on that to see how we could get the tone and the feel to match. Yeah. Uh, so um, now I think it's just time for you to play. Okay. And then p play a bit on that and then you get this and you play a bit on this and then we do the blindfold thing and then we'll see if you can tell the difference. All right. The yeah. difference. So yeah. Ariel, if you please. Okay. <laughs> Guitar. I mean, it, hey, it's a beautiful it's a guitar. It's a beautiful guitar. <laughs> that was really funny. I mean, the D18 is absolutely one of my. It's a classic. It's, it's one of my favorite, and I don't have one. I mean, so this could be actually. Will I? Which one do I like the best? Yeah. You know. I've always been a D28 guy. Um, Why? But, honestly, Rosewood. I, Rosewood is a big part of it, and it's something like uh, the body size is the same on a d28 yeah yeah, yeah. so dreadnought. I, something about the rosewood and something like the dreadnought thing for me the d28 thing just has a mm, like this mm, it's yeah it has a, mm, there's a, mm, a punch thing yeah. to it that i can't describe mahogany, but the d18 is like a more open yeah mahogany thing. is very different the back and size and no, we're not going to yeah. go well we can go into the tonewood debate and you can comment all you like and go at each other in the comment yeah. section because i think most people here at Anderson's do think that uh, wood makes a difference yeah yeah, so, and these are both the same. I mean, they look so similar as well. It's incredible, you know. Yeah. They, they do really look the same. Yeah. You want to hear, the... hear a bit of this one? Yes, please. Yeah, yeah. Glorious. I just... You're so good. Okay, so what, are you, what are you feeling? What's, up? What's going on in your head? 
What's going to happen inside? It's all good things. I yeah. I do. I mean, every guitar sounds a little different from each other. Yeah, absolutely. Even if they're made completely the same way. Yeah. Um, I'm getting a bit, and and I we should say, a sp specifically guitars like these. It sounds so much different when you're playing it and you're behind it than what it sounds like in front of it. 100%. Like I'm playing it and sometimes I feel like I have to dig in a bit harder because like, I can't really hear myself. But the way it projects up there, it's just like, yeah, so different. Yeah. They're loud. I'm getting uh, an overall crispier. <laughs> Here we go. I'm bit. getting tones of oak and, yeah. and, and lemon. Vanilla. And, yeah. <laughs> Vanilla and Time. mint, yeah. but it's like a brighter, crispier well, and that thing. One. Yeah, I don't know if that has to do. And those are brand new strings. Yeah, but they, I mean, Alexias are Alexias. They are, they always give that sort of bright new. Yeah, and I find they're consistent. Cast, they are consistent sounding strings. Yeah. Uh, oh, absolutely. I I love both of these so far. I'm not. I'm not. You don't there there any... isn't like a. Mm, this one was a bit better. I, too early for that. So fe feeling wise, what are you what What are you feeling like? I feel, feel the same. They feel really, really they similar. Feel very they? similar. I mean, this this neck here is uh, slightly not as lacquered. That one is lacquered. That one is more. lacquered. Yeah. Um, but it's not super. It's not sticky or anything. Like no. That. Let me just let me try to do like a G, just like a. When I was playing it, I'm like, I think I hear a difference, but there is right there, here, there is a difference in there. They sound more similar. Like just now. Really? I don't know. You guys let us know what you think, but <laughs> I they, feel sounded, like they sounded really close to each other. I think they sound completely different. <laughs> when, 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 when I'm saying, <laughs> hang on. It's really close. Where I'm, but set, where I'm sitting right now. Uh, what do you guys yeah. think? It's so close. Is it close? That's slightly brighter because of those strings. But yeah. It's, it's literally yeah. quite close. They're very slightly close. Bright. Okay, They're so I, close. I get another. I get another feeling. I get a feeling that they sound similar, mm. but I get a feeling that uh, this that one seems. It seems like it sounds to me like it's been played. Does that make sense? Yeah. It feels like a bit it's more. like it feels like. It feels like it looks. It looks feels like a it's, little, it's, it's been, been around played, the block a bit It's more. been around. It's been played a bit. Where this feel like feels like a new guitar. It's been taken okay. out for a few milkshakes. And yeah, some dates. it's it's been shaking. The milkshake brings all the guys to the guys yard. yard. So I think for me that just that's the difference to me personally is that that seems like it's just like ten years old or fifteen or okay. twenty years old. So in terms of. That might be the lacquer. That might be the way might they've blacked the lacquer. In terms of, this is a light relic, right? Like there's... Very, very light. But in terms of the things you did, like in terms of the neck, uh, and anywhere that your hands are touching, when you're playing, I don't notice the relic. To, to me, the relic no. on this guitar is all just... A look. It's a look thing. Okay. You know how you but you buy a Strat, custom shop Strat, and like they, they sand down half of the neck for you. Yeah. Like, like those are the kind of things you're like... I can this feel, feels I feel more played in. Yeah. This feels, yeah, it still feels like a new it's guitar It's weird, isn't it? It's, it's weird, weird. Yeah. Price-wise, this is twenty-one forty-nine. Okay. That is twenty-five ninety-nine. So it's a bit okay. more. Okay. I mean, you do get. Oh, I mean, it's very difficult, isn't it? How many people 
are on the are on the floor for Martin making these guitars. Yeah, but but not very many still. But but three hundred and fifty, three hundred maybe I think. And I'm I'm assuming that four guys is like four guys. Yeah. yeah, and you know we we ordered these six months ago or something, mm. so it takes that time. Yeah. So it's a couple of dudes in their workshop, uh, and that's kind of it. So you're gonna have to pay a bit more for for the craftsmanship. Yeah. Anyway, oh, I, right I now, also got to say I love when they age tuners too. Yeah, a little bit. it's all good, man. I don't like shiny, silvery no, kind of. You no, know, if you spark. want, if you want to, Martin, do 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 some uh, relics, you know. Yeah. Now, but yeah. they are they, they cost ten grand, you know, yeah. nine grand. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. it's really down expensive. payment on a house, aged Martin. Well, that depends on where you. Aged look. Martin probably. It yeah. didn't age Martin. But <laughs> hey, and just rent, okay. rent a house. Right. So. Let's now, you, can you hang that guitar there for me, please? Yes. Uh, because now what we're going to do is, which one would you like to be? Would you like to be Captain or uh, Chappers? No, uh, whichever one smells better. <laughs> you smell them, because they smell exactly <laughs> as bad as each other. <laughs> uh, they kind of smell the same, so yeah. I'll just go... Mm, mm, uh, this one. <laughs> you captain. are your Captain. All right. Okay, so first, first all I'm going to do is the same thing with the G chord. Right. Okay, I'm going to tell you. So you're going to tell me if you can hear the difference in these two guitars. Can All you right. see anything? No. What? 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 Where am I? Do you want me to <laughs> hey, it's it's right in front of you. Like it's not that hard. To, you know, you should be. Able it's to. right in front of you. It's not that hard. It's not that hard. Innuendo. I'm looking at you guys, but you can't see my. Okay, are you ready for this? Are Think you ready so. for this G chord? Yeah. Okay, here's the first guitar. Okay. Okay. Here's the next guitar. Okay. So A or B, which one is the Martin? I think the first one you did was the Martin. That was wrong. That was the Seriously? the first one was the Atkin. Really? Yes. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Let's try again. Here I'll tell you why, because I, for some reason, like I was saying. When I was playing, I could hear just a, a brighter, kind of crispier thing going on with the, the Atkin. And to me, the first one sounded a bit just darker. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We try again? Yeah. What chord would you like? An E minor? Yes, I'd okay. love an E Here's minor. Here's an E minor. Okay. 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 Ghost Riders in. <laughs> there you go. Second. Okay. So, so now I'm basing this kind of off of the, what you, okay, the G so chord. Is the first one uh, the Martin or is the second one the Martin? I think the second one's the Martin. Nope, that's wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Yes, I'm serious. So okay, that's interesting. So why now do I, I don't know why I'm, I'm associating like whatever darker one I'm like the way. Okay, it, now I'm gonna hand, keep that on. Keep the blindfold on. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm now gonna hand you. One. <laughs> and watch the microphone there. So that's it. Okay. okay. So just just play around on that a bit. Uh. <laughs> With the blindfold on, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Do you want me to tell you which one that is, or no? Okay. Just and then here's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> so just play it like this. Is this it? Oh, okay. Okay. So this is the second one. Keep that there. I think. Mm, 
without feeling too much on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Without feeling too I'm much. At, I'm actually pretty stumped. I, <laughs> I want to say... <laughs> Which one? <laughs> Don't touch it too much. Okay, okay. I just wanted to play one more G chord. Okay, one more you G play chord? G chord, yeah, that's fine. I think this is the Atkin. That's right. Okay. But it's not even a balloon or anything. You can take your blindfold off now. Okay. Yes. So that's interesting, but I think so when you're playing them, what what is why do you, why did you uh, think that was the accent? Also, the feeling with the neck is a bit more. This is it had on the, it had nothing to do with how it felt. They felt identical. Really? It, it was that's weird because this is not lacquered. I know. I didn't even notice when I'm when I can't. I'm, it's is more it so. It's more so how it sounds. Yeah. And like I was saying, the mm. Atkin to me has this like crispier thing, this brighter thing when I'm playing. It, Obviously, I couldn't tell when you were playing, but yeah. sitting behind the guitar, I getting that sound. So that's just, and I was, I wasn't trying to be like, which is the newer strings? Like I, I couldn't tell. No, it's weird, isn't it? Crazy. Well, you can't see, you can't tell. Yeah, it's really strange. Yeah, but anyway, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. If you fancy, <laughs> I, this game. <laughs> I don't know, what, you know, the the. It's basically a comparison video, isn't it? Yeah. Is that the point of this video? I don't know. It's just a, it's, yeah. well, you it's decide funny. which one you think sounds better. Come try them out. Yeah, they're exactly. both great guitars. Uh, yeah. I love seeing. Uh, or, I pointed to this one, but I love seeing, <laughs> you know, people staying true to the old faithful and and just trying to keep that alive, but yeah. kind of putting their own spin on it yeah. and and just making gorgeous and it's nice. guitars. Handmade in the UK is really nice because it's look at uh, that logo. I just love. It. He's he's into this. It looks like. It just looks like the 40s or the 30s. Yeah, but know? that's what it is. That's why they're doing these guitars because yeah. they they want to take it back to the golden age yeah. of the guitars. But if you want to get by, uh, you know, the Relic Martin or you know an old mm. pre-war Martin, you can't. It's just too much. You can't. It's yeah. just incre incredibly expensive. These are looks more like that and maybe even feels a bit more like it. Yeah. So and I got to say, this is strictly cosmetic. But there's so many companies that make great instruments and specifically guitars. Yeah. But they like there's one thing on the headstock that's just like ugh, yeah it doesn't why? work it doesn't work probably or but it's really difficult they, they, this is so like, they nail this it. looks so good they nail it but yeah. you cannot go wrong with that absolutely not it is one of my all time favorite guitars hard to beat ever hard to beat so thank you very much for watching please like this video subscribe to our channel you know if we get if we get 20,000 likes <laughs> on this video <laughs> which is which would be ridiculous uh, I will, um, we will do a lesson video where Ariel will teach you how to boogie. <laughs> we'll do it, we'll let's, do a video where we dance. Let's boogie, baby. We'll, yeah. do, a, we'll do a dance oh, yeah, video we'll do a dance in video. our underpants. How's that? P potentially, yeah. Yeah, potentially. Or our pants. Yeah. Right. We'll do something really funny for you. Please. Okay, see you later!